Oh yeah, you know who he is. Two-time All-Star 2011 NCAA Tournament Most Outstanding Player, Kemba Walker. Welcome to the yes. set. Sure, sure. I always tell our producers I love those plans. We're going to give it to you. You can like have it when you walk into restaurants, when you walk into the barbershop. Just take it with you. You can announce your presence everywhere. I'll take it. All makes like that? I'll yeah, take it. Exactly. <laughs> In this room, you have all makes. I mentioned All-Star, the All-Star game, of course, in Charlotte this season. How much would it mean to you to have your third All-Star appearance be in your town? Uh, it mean a, it mean the world. It mean the world to represent my organization, um, to represent the city of Charlotte. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to, you know, try to get back to that game and you know try to, you know, be the be the host. Um, like a, like me and you were talking all the, earlier. Not a lot of guys get a chance to be in the All-Star game and represent their city at the same time. So, um, yeah, it's going to be an amazing film. Yeah, see where you are in L.A., that, that shot where there were no Lakers or, or Clippers representing their hometown. So maybe you can be, be the four, you can be the pioneer this year. Yay! <laughs> <I hope so. laughs> It'll be good. But, no, we love seeing you. You're having a fantastic, fantastic yes, you are. start to the season. You want to ask about step backs? Yes, I have to because the hottest move right now in the NBA is clearly the step back shot, and that's something you're very guilty of getting defenders to bite, and then you use your step back. What are your thoughts on the increased usage of that move in the league right now? Um, I love it. I mean, <laughs> I love it. You know, it just, it's, like, it's all about creating space. <laughs> it's all about, you know, being able to get your shot off. And for me, of course, I'm a smaller guy in the league, so... It's all about space for me. It's all about creating space, and that's what I've been working on throughout my whole career um, to become a better player was, you know, space creating. Did you work on that in the offseason, like <coughs> constantly working on the step back, not just backwards, but also mm -hmm. sideways? Oh, yeah. Every every way, <laughs> every way possible. What do you mean that? You see that? what that means, right? Boy, I'm about to get some money. I'm about to get some money. I'm about to get some money. <laughs> I mean, look, you are about to get some money. You are an unrestricted free agent at the end of this oh. season. I know there's a lot of people who want you. You went to New York Made last month. Everyone up in your hometown was like, Kemba, 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 could you sign with the Knicks? Could you sign with the Knicks? If you make any of the All-NBA teams this year, you will be in line for a Supermax <laughs> from the Hornets. You've got the pull of staying with the franchise that you've been with, and I know that means a lot to you, the loyalty factor. Money is nice when you get offered a Supermax, <laughs> and even if it's not a Supermax, it still could be a five-year max. Um, and then also, of course, there's the idea of, hey, can you play for a competitive championship, and can you t play for a team that can go deep in the playoffs? Do we have the quote from him from last year? I know we were scrolling by it, but this is what you said last year. You said, at this point, I want to win. I want to be in the playoffs. I'm tired of not being in the playoffs. I hate watching them on TV. <laughs> and right now, as we sit here, you guys are number eight. That could, of course, change. So where are you on all that soup of factors that will go into your decision? Uh, right now, <clears throat> I don't think about it as much, just because there's nothing that can be done right now. Um, I just want to look, I want to be able to enjoy that process, I guess, and just wait for it over the summer. Um, but yeah, you know, I do want to be in the playoffs and, you know, um, I think we can. I think we can. Even with the team we have now, I think we can be in the playoffs. And, you know, when you get to the playoffs, anything is possible. So, yeah, I'm just looking forward to, you know, trying my best to lead my team to the playoffs this season. This season. Then when that time comes for free agency, you know, I'll just go through that process. So that, so that was said in that was March. Very diplomatic. That was very <laughs> diplomatic. It was beautiful, but I'm not here for like, that. He's going to get your job. That was very, very good. Uh, he's speak. got it. He's, yeah. it's, it's already done. Yeah. He's already got better accolades, so it doesn't matter, <laughs> right? Uh, no, so that was said in March of 2018. So obviously it was, you know, during, you know right around playoff time. But I want to go back to February when you're talking about the tread deadline, right? And mm -hmm. everybody wants Kimba Walker. Right. You hear all these things. Your team, you know, is hearing all these things. Everybody wants you. They know that you, you know, the, you know, that free agency is coming up on you and they're in the decision. Should we rebuild your valuable asset? How did you handle? I know how you handled it because you're having a career year. But what was your focus like right around the trade deadline and then going into the summer, knowing that people wanted you and people were trying to get you? Um, <clears throat> at first, it was pretty tough just because I've never. I've never been involved in, in trade talks. So to hear it, um, and then hear, I think I first heard it through social media. Yeah, that's, that's, what, all, that's, that's what it works now. Yeah, so, accept that. So, you know, from that point on, I was, I was pretty upset. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can only control what you, what you can control. Um, and if they wanted to get rid of me, I guess they would have. Yeah. Um, and they didn't. And, you know, I just tried my best to finish that season out. Um, and then during the summer, um, 
I just want to be. I locked in. You locked in. Yeah. Number one. Number one. Locked first, in for sure. First, first. You know what that means. You, do you know what that Do you means. put any pressure on the team this year, subtly behind the scenes, because you're that kind of guy, you would not do it publicly, but do you want them to be active before this year's trade deadline to get you a better team to make you want to stay? We keep talking about Anthony Davis and the pressure on the Pelicans to be a place he wants to stay in. Your contract is up this summer. There is a lot of teams that are going to be coming knocking on your door. What do you want the Hornets to do so you feel good about staying? Uh, they know. <laughs> Say it. They know what they got to do. Um, <laughs> that's not my job, you know. Uh, I leave it up to those guys. You know, we have Mitch now, who's a, who's a great guy, who's done a great job at, you know, building teams over his, his GM career. And, um, you know, I think I have a lot of trust in him. So, you know, we talk all the time, and um, he knows. So you've had those conversations? Yeah, we have. Okay. <laughs> all right.